Peace and blessings, man. Peace and blessings. It feels so good. It feels so good to make a video. I haven't been a video in a couple of days now. I've been really busy with life. Uh, but this one's going to be about seven signs you are blocking God's blessings. And let me tell you guys something real quick, man. When you're doing the will of God, it should be happiness. It should be joy. Your spirit, your spirit should be rejoicing. And I encourage all you guys to be doing that, seeking God's will in your life. And also, you know, striving for perfection, okay? Uh, not to say that you're going to, you know, live a life that you're never going to sin again. You're never going to make mistakes. Again. I'm not saying that. But doing the will of God and striving to seek after God's heart, that's what that's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. So let's get it. Let's go. These are the seven signs you are blocking God's blessings, man. This is things that I learned on my, on my walk, too. All right. So number one, this is the number one thing that I did in the beginning stages of my walk. I don't do this ever again. Like, never, ever again will I do this. But. I would listen to when I want advice, you know, the Bible says um, over and over again, you know, counsel is good to have godly counsel. It's good to have someone to, you know, someone above you to like give you wisdom and knowledge. Okay. But when someone that may be above you is giving wisdom and knowledge, but God's already told you what you're supposed to do, but you're listening to your friends and your family over God. Okay. This could be a real problem. This could be a, a big issue. You could block God's blessings in your life. Okay. Yes. So when God is telling you to do something, to move here, you know, we know we could hear the voice of God. Anyone who's in the spirit, we know, okay. And like we already received the confirmation from God, we already received the answers, right? But then when we're going to our friends, we're going to our mom, our dad, our cousin, our uncle, our auntie, you know, our best friend that we knew all our life, right? We're going to them, even though God has already gave us the answer. This is how you could block God's blessings in your life. And there's many times where I have blocked many God's blessings in my life because I was listening to a family member. Or I was listening to my best friend or, you know, friends, okay? So even the Bible says that he who loves his father, mother, uh, brother, sister, children over me is not worthy of me, okay? Matthew chapter 10, verse 37 to 38. So you want to make sure that you're putting the most high first above all things, especially when it comes to confirmations. Even people like me, I'm just a messenger, right? I can make videos to, you know, plant seeds in people, you know, give people the gospel. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure that the most high is first in your life. You're listening to him, seeking him for counsel. Nothing wrong with going to someone, you know, a brother or sister. But if God's gave you the answer, it's final, okay? It's final. All right, so number two. This is one thing I see with a lot of Christians is uh, being still in love with this world, okay? The Bible makes it clear that anyone who's in love with this world, the love of God does not dwell in them. And I'll leave a verse right there to see it. This is deep, bro. The, if anyone who, this is crazy how you see all these churches, they're still of this world. But the Bible says that those who are in love with the world, the love of God does not dwell in them. Wow. That should put the fear of God in you. So, some, when this Bible verse, guys, when I read the Bible... It's like, that puts the fear of God in me. Like, I'm not loving this world no more, bro. You know, a lot of people, they're still in love with material possessions. They're still with the worldly stuff, which it doesn't really matter because it's all passing away. We are clearly living in the end times. Anyone with discernment could see that. Not not to say that I know the day or hour when Christ is coming back, but we see the signs all around us, okay? You know, they're pushing out certain agendas that are correlates to the mark of the beast, okay? So anyone who's awake and can see, can clearly see that. So, and he's still in love with this world, it just makes no sense to me. Still in love with celebrities and, you know, those satanic people, right? Because that's what I believe what they are. Most of them are. Okay, so this is how you can block God's blessings, guys. Still in love with this world, okay? Uh, you got to be set apart. Simple. You got to be set apart. All right, number three is reject, rejecting, despising, and hating wisdom. Now, this is a long Bible verse. So if you guys want to look it up, it's in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22 to 33. It also says that in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36, it says, All that hate me... Um, this, um, despise uh all that hate me uh love death i'll leave a verse right here i don't want to say that wrong it's in proverbs chapter th uh, 8 verse 36 okay so when you reject wisdom okay even the bible says that if those who have wisdom will, will dwell safely safely the bible makes it clear over and over again how important wisdom is wisdom 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 um i guess i guys i'll leave verses all throughout the screen too so you guys can see it king, king james version but you want to make sure that, you know, you have wisdom in your life. Okay, that's so important. Without wisdom, I would not be able to make these videos. You guys wouldn't know who I am if without wisdom. So I'm a promoter of wisdom, uh, wisdom, wisdom, godly wisdom. You know, the Bible even says that wisdom is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's a spiritual gift. So we should all be seeking after wisdom. And the Bible makes it clear, if you lack wisdom, you should ask God who will give it to you freely. In James chapter 1, verse 5 to 7. So uh, you could definitely block God's blessings, guys, by rejecting, despising, and hating wisdom, okay? Uh, number four is having ungodly friends and being in an ungodly relationship. Wow, have I learned this so many times, guys. I'm telling you, you could really block your blessings 
Uh, I should have been on YouTube years ago, year, like a long time ago. I should have been, you know, really deep in my walk with Christ 10 years ago. But because I was with these ungodly friends, I didn't have any wisdom. Okay. You know, I would lack wisdom. Uh, being in ungodly relationships, having these soul ties with different women. Okay. It was just separating me from um, the truth. Okay. Separating me from doing what my purpose is. And having ungodly friends, we know what the Bible says that evil communications will corrupt uh, good manners. Okay. So being around certain people, you might think, oh, this is just my best friend or, you know, we're just working it out. Uh, I'm telling you guys, a lot of times I block God's blessings in my life, guys, because um, having the ungodly friends. And see, God, when you're around ungodly friends, um, or maybe you're in an unequally yoked relationship that you know you shouldn't have been into, you've been, been into, um, God will show you and God will tell you that, you know, you got to leave, you got to go away. But a lot of people, like, they're so comfortable. They get, stay, they stay comfortable and they're comfortable in their sin. Uh, they're comfortable rebelling against the most high, not knowing that there is a judgment. Okay. Um, when you're sinning against the most high and, you know, when God's telling you, uh, you know, you got to, you know, give up this person and see what, one thing God will do. One thing I noticed when, especially with these ungodly friends, right? He will allow them to bite you. Okay, what do I mean by that? Because all these fake friends, these ungodly friends are snakes or vipers. That's what even Christ called most people uh, the, the generation of vipers, okay? And God will allow that snake to bite you, to hurt you, okay? We all know when a snake bites you, it hurts, okay? And a lot of people, when that snake's continue biting them, they just stay, they just stay there. They get numb to the, the pain, okay? And you don't want that to happen to you, okay? So when that snake bites you, when those fake friends expose themselves, when God's giving you eyes to see so he can, he can separate you and so you can spend more time with him, maybe get in an isolation season so you could you could dedicate that season, okay, 100% for God, no no distractions, okay? Or maybe that, you know, relationship where you know that person is of the devil, you know, and we know a person by their fruits, okay? So don't, no one's, don't be, especially if you're watching my videos, you have some type of discernment, you, you have some type of spirituality, you, you have, hopefully you have the Holy Spirit so you can see these things. And, you know, these ungodly relationship, ungodly friends, they got to go, bro. <laughs> Straight up, bro. <laughs> like, they got to go. And I know it might be hard for some people because, oh, I knew them for 10 years. But like I said in the beginning of this video, he who loves his father, mother, brother, sister um, over me is not worthy of me. Okay? That's in Matthew chapter 10, verse 37, 38. All right, number five is constantly living in disobedience and willful sin. Okay? When you're constantly living in sin... And you expect God, you know, you expect God to bless you. That's not how it works, man. How it works for God to bless you, which I'm going to make a video on that pretty soon too as well, uh, is you got to be obedient, okay? Uh, not to say that you're going to be perfect without sin. Absolutely not. But you have to you have to show God through your faith, which I'm going to talk about in a bit, um, that, you know, you're worthy of, you know, receiving the blessings because you're striving to walk that narrow path. You're striving to walk that righteous path. You're striving to humbly uh, be a follower of Christ, okay? You know, those people who, you know, who are on that side, yes, they receive blessings, okay? And now, always understand this. The Bible says there's a time uh, for everything under the sun. So you're not going to always be happy. There's going to be times when you're at a, um, a season of war, okay? You're a season of hate. And there's going to be times of a season of love and a season of peace. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 to 8, okay? There's always a time for everything under the sun, okay? So, uh, constantly living in, in disobedience and willful sin, no need to repent, don't feel any guilt, any uh, remorse, uh, you're blocking God's blessings, okay? Uh, number six is a lack of faith, which I was talking about earlier, okay? A lack of faith. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please the Most High, okay? That's crazy. Without faith, it is impossible to please God because a lot of people think I got to do this, I got to do this to please God, which the Bible makes it clear. Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. So you can't expect God's blessings when you're lacking faith. Okay, not to say that, you, you know, remember the Bible says you want to have faith as a mustard seed, which is like literally this small or probably even smaller than that. But some people don't even have that. Some people don't have no no type of faith. Okay, so without faith, it's impossible to please God. Okay, and obviously that means that when you have faith, you're pleasing God. So when you're pleasing God, God rewards you. Think about all you parents out there, right? All you fathers, your mothers. When, you're, when your son or daughter is pleasing you, they're getting good grades, you know, they're doing well. You know stuff like that, right? You're gonna reward your child, okay? You're gonna you're gonna bless your child, right? It's the same thing what God does, okay? So you have to have faith, okay? So if you have no faith, you're faithless, which is a lot of people, okay? Always understand that. Don't allow that depression spirit. Don't allow no demons to separate you from the love of Christ, okay? So have faith, even if it's as small as a mustard seed. Okay, do not lack faith. All right, so that's that's key, man. Remember, this is in Hebrew chapter eleven, verse six. Anyone who's lacking faith, I recommend you to meditate on that scripture day and night, man. Number seven is going to anybody but God for a blessing. And I see a lot of people do this. A lot of people are rooted with idolatry, okay? 
when it when it comes to a blessing, a lot of people they go to they they, they wait on a blessing to, for their boss. Okay, they wait on a blessing for their mom for your children. You, you wait on a blessing for your mom and your dad. No, bro, you want to wait on a blessing. You rely on a blessing from God, man, because those are the best blessings. Okay, not to say that a boss can't bless you with a, ra a rage or you know y'all know y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? But when it comes to receiving a blessing, don't rely on nobody else but God. The God Almighty, okay? I'm telling y'all, man, I used to do this when I was younger, too. I used to put my faith in other people but God. And some of y'all do this, too. And like I said, I used to do this. So I'm letting y'all know, man, a lot of people do this, man. They go to anybody but God, okay? They'll go to anybody but God, man. And I, I don't like when people do this. And like I said, I used to do this, too, as well. So I understand that, okay, like, I got to be humble because I was once me, okay? So I want y'all to learn from my mistakes when it comes to blocking your blessings is because you're going to everybody but God, okay? That's how you block your blessings. So these are the seven signs you are blocking God's blessings. Number one, you listen to your friends and family over God. Number two, you're still in love with this world. Number three, you reject and despise and hate wisdom. Number four is having ungodly friends and being in an ungodly, uh, unequally yoked uh, relationship. Number five is constantly living in disobedience, willful sin. Number six is you lack faith. And number seven is going to anybody but God. If you guys made it this far, don't forget to like the video. I hope you guys got edified from this video. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, share this video. And if you guys wish to support me, my links are down below in the description. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.